Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are at Acme 2023 organized by IMA and we are at the stall of BFW. We are having with us Mr. Ravi Raghavan sir from BFW and I will be asking him about his experience at this Acme. Sir, please tell us about it. Good morning and uh, thank you for inviting me to speak. Acme has been a, a very very productive exhibition for all of us for the years. It's a proven uh, tested market of Chennai that uh, gives a lot of exposure to the new technology. So ACME is a very important exhibition for us. And uh, this year has not been any exception. The first day onwards, we got some very encouraging um, customers visiting us, uh, inquiring, discussing, and of course, a lot of orders. Uh, Chennai customers have always been uh, a source of getting very positive feedback for us. This has helped us to improve our products and that's why this exhibition is so much important for us. We've been very, very encouraged by the exhibition till now. Great. Sir, uh, everywhere the buzz is around and talking about the BFW's global standardized manufacturing facility, which is Unit 3, is coming at Hosur. So, can you please tell us more about it? Sure. Uh, we've been growing at a very fast rate for the last uh, eight years and uh, at a CAGR of 25% for a capital goods it's not possible to uh, keep pace on supplies. So we built in the plant 2 in Hosur about four years ago and we already exhausted that capacity. So we thought that instead of doing an incremental capacity expansion we should multiply our capacity and we have sufficient inquiries for that. So the new plant in Hosur uh, is going to come over a 50 acre land package. Uh, there will be two phases in which we will be doing. The first phase will have at about uh, 500,000 square feet of productive space. Uh, what we are trying to do is uh, employ newer ways of manufacturing machines which will be very productive and uh, very digital. The whole factory is going to be smart and digital using our own technologies in build. As you all know we have uh, a subsidiary called M2Nex uh, where we do smart factory solutions and we are using the same solutions for our manufacturing. Uh, just to give some data points, each assembly building would be roughly about 200 10,000 square feet, which is probably one of the largest uh, sheds for any machine tool manufacturing. Uh, as I said, all the uh, infrastructure would be digitally connected. The smaller and medium sized machines would be assembled on a conveyor uh, so that the throughput is faster and we are able to meet the tack times that the market requires. Uh, we will have a very modern spindle factory there so that uh, we are able to build uh, the high quality spindle. End of the day, we would be ma making machines which are of size 5 ton to something which goes as high as 100 tons of machines. So uh, this infrastructure will be a real technology enhancer for us within the organization, organization itself where our customers can see how we are using that technology for making the machines. We are very excited. The first phase uh, of the building uh, production starts uh, from August. So we will be making uh, you know, the machines of uh, BMW and uh, turning machines in the first building from August this year. And we ramp up uh, to go to the higher volumes by the fourth quarter of this year. That is great to hear from you sir. And also talking about the 5-axis machines which are there in the market by BFW, I would like to understand from you how you would like to differentiate your 5-axis machines from the other international market. India needs 5-axis machines, has been needing 5-axis machines and all these requirements were catered from by the imported machines. So we uh, work to give a complete range of solutions of the 5-axis machines manufactured in India 
uh, which comprises of uh, you know there's always an advantage of being a late starter so we have been able to understand the market better we took some time but now we have a complete range of solutions based on the vertical uh, milling platform based on the uh, horizontal machine platform and the turning machine platform all these y axis heads are designed and manufactured within bfw so overall it's a solution and not just a machine for the y axis applications uh, it goes on not only to improve the structural part of it but a lot of electronics into it and uh, a lot of uh, application related solutions into the uh, whole machine uh, we'd also see automation built into many of these machines uh, we launch a complete range now which has a uh, head 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 table and a table table combination uh, on all the three platforms of vertical horizontal and turning platforms thank you so much for this insight sir two things i thought i'll finish off with one is about the uh, exhibition here and the customer okay uh, we displayed uh, one of our uh, top line uh, horizontal machines which is called the orion very successful in the indian market with a lot of innovative features uh, the vertical machine which is a new launch uh, which is highly productive rigid and meeting all the precision standards for a vertical milling machine and the horizontal machine horizontal turning machines but you will also see our digital platform here which is called the iris which also in, uh, takes care of the shock and vibration sensor uh, which is going to be inbuilt in all our machines and can help customer to prevent any accidents then the second point about this ex uh, exhibition uh, i just like to take this opportunity to thank all the customers of chennai they've been so much of a support to us to grow this market understand the needs and the uh, encouragement they have given even in this exhibition so i think that's something very important to acknowledge and thank them for that and last point uh, great work hari and i think i was there during the launch of uh, this book as well in bangalore uh, a fantastic read and i would encourage uh, every professional to read this book take inspiration from uh, successful people who have been uh, entrepreneurs taken the risk and how they grew their businesses and uh, it's a dedicated work of hari and his team that uh, you know makes a good read of this book so i definitely encourage all of us to read this book and share thank you very much thank you so much sir thank you